Sophie, your home is relatively small, but it doesn't feel cramped. One of the most important thing is design is not only to plan what kind of furniture is gonna go where, mm -hmm. but you also need to plan the entire circulation space around it in order to be able to walk around it freely. So how did you do that here? Well, for here, I actually bought acrylic chairs so you can see through them. You know, the light keeps circulating and it doesn't make the space feel heavy because the most common error people make is that they buy too large furniture to put in small spaces. Same thing with the light fixture. As you can see, we see right through it so it doesn't cramp out the space. Well done. I love the artwork here. It's cool. I know, isn't it whimsical? But the piece that I like the most in my dining room is this cabinet that I repurposed from my basement. Ah, what do you use it for? Well, actually, it's a bar section right next to the table, so it's perfect when you want to entertain. And when you entertain, you need to get your kids busy. Yes. So there you go, crayons and puzzles. Well, <laughs> you thought of everything. I like that parent perspective. Now the kitchen used to be very dark, so I painted the upper cabinets. And I purposely added a crown molding that's different from the rest of the house to create a more customized look. But what I love the most about my kitchen is actually the Serratec tile. Uh, I just had to make it the backdrop of the entire kitchen and I added it all the way to the ceiling to create that French je ne sais quoi. It's gorgeous. And isn't it the same tile that you used at the fireplace? Yes, it is. Good for noticing. Ah, merci. Bienvenue. <laughs>